18 how's it going in this video I'm going to show you how to make or add users into backtrack 5 and how to fix the Google Chrome and team viewer problems that people were having with uh, in the previous video of tips on improving backtrack 5 so um, when you're running the team viewer or the Google it'll probably prompt you saying um, like this team viewer you'll probably say you must execute as a root and you probably tried sudo and a bunch of other of um, other methods and it didn't work for you um, also Google Chrome won't launch it says it, it cannot be executed as root as that as well so um, how do you fix this alright you have to add a non-privileged user so to do this um, what, well you don't have to do it but I mean this is the method I do so what you want to do is um, you want to add user and then the name of your user and I already did this add user and then hacker18 now when you're done doing that you want to I believe I already typed it in here let me go back user mod dash dash groups admin comma disk comma cd rom comma audio and then my username was hexer18 and then um, once you've done that uh, those two commands now we have to um, log back in as root or make sure you're logged back in as root and um, you want to um, type in xhost Plus, and this what this does is it disables the xorg access control, and this allows the clients to connect through any host. So, um, once we've done this, now what we do is you go to applications, right click it, and edit menu or menuous, and then the internet tab which is what I use it doesn't really matter which tab you're, you're gonna use but this is where all of them are at the or the team viewer in the Google Chrome is at so go to team viewer right click or go to properties yeah and then what you want to do is at the very front add this string of a com this command line right there sudo dash i dash u hexer18 was the user that I added and then it follows along with the program that's in front of it same thing with google chrome here sudo dash i dash u hexer18 and the program name and then now when you close those and you go back to applications internet team viewer there it is it launched now you might see wine come up for the first time or something like that but after it loads then you'll see team viewer and that's what you want now um, I'm going to close that and then Google Chrome is working as well it just took me to the website um, if you go to Google Chrome there's Google Chrome and it just works just as nice now you can also drag these out here and you can move them wherever you want and then there it is your shortcuts now um that's how you fix the the problem that's how you add a user so um if you have any questions or anything like that just let me know and oh yes, if you're done browsing using Google Chrome or the Team Viewer, make sure when you, you go back to terminal and you type in X host minus. And then that goes to back that goes that in, enables the X org access control again. And then of course you can't launch these programs. But it's you know just to keep you secure. Um I you know you just never know. Um comment you know rate you know keep those things you know questions and everything coming to me um, I hope this fix you guys problems or issues that you were having um, I guess I'll talk to you guys later see ya